Hello guys, welcome to Love is Vacation YouTube's channel. Now I wanna give you information about 5 Top Rated Day Trips from Glasgow Number 5 Newark Castle In the industrial town of Port Glasgow, 25 miles west of Glasgow's city centre, stands the 15th century Newark Castle. The mansion, with a gatehouse and tower, was once the seat of the, sometimes murderous, Maxwell family. Although the tower house rooms are not open to visitors, you can see the building's lovely Jacobean exterior and the fascinating below stairs rooms with exhibits relating to the working conditions and lives of the family's staff. Number 4 Loch Lomond and the West Highlands Yon Bonny Banks and Yon Bonny Braz of Scotland's largest freshwater loch are only half an hour from Glasgow, at the southern end of Loch Lomond and the Trossachus National Park. In addition to the haunting beauty and romantic vistas that the song speaks of, Loch Lomond is a centre for boating and other water sports. Golfers head for the Carrick Golf Course at Cameron House, one of Scotland's finest championship standard golf courses, with views of Ben Lomond across the waters of the loch. Hiking and bicycle trails abound throughout the park, and Loch Lomond cruises depart from Balbeck, at the southern end of the lake. Although you can easily reach the loch by train, Loch Lomond is often part of tours of the West Highlands from Glasgow. The full-day guided West Highland locks, Glencoe and Castle's small group day trip from Glasgow includes attractions such as Kilchurn Castle, the town of Inverray, and Castle Stalker on Loch Ledge. Number 3 Benmore Botanic Garden Benmore Botanic Garden set amidst spectacularly rugged mountain scenery north of Glasgow at the southern end of Loch Eck, is part of Edinburgh's Royal Botanic Garden. The avenue of giant Californian redwoods planted in 1863 lined a long driveway to the property, where you'll be rewarded with a chance to wander around more than 300 different species of rhododendron and azaleas. Number 2 Isle of Arran, Little Scotland Known as Scotland in miniature, the lovely Isle of Arran is only 267 square kilometers in size but contains examples of just about everything that makes Scotland one of the world's most popular tourist destinations. Arran is a one-hour ferry ride from Ardrossan, which itself is an easy train trip from Glasgow. Like the mainland, the island is marked by magnificent mountains, moorland, sandy beaches, an abundance of wildlife, castles, fishing harbors, and great golf. It's also a walker's paradise, and buses run regularly around the island from the ferry terminal at Braddock to its various tourist attractions. Number 1 Stirling's Historic Battles and Castle Just 30 minutes from Glasgow by car or direct train, and about 45 minutes from Edinburgh, the town of Stirling is famous as the location of the Battle of Bannockburn in 1314, when Robert the Bruce defeated the English invaders. It was also where legendary William Wallace beat the English at the Battle of Stirling Bridge, a victory for Scottish independence. Both battles are commemorated at the excellent Bannockburn Heritage Center. Between Stirling and the quaint village of Bridge of Allen stands the majestic Wallace Monument, a spectacular 246-step tower with sweeping views of the area, as well as artifacts that belong to Wallace. The spectacular 12th-century Stirling Castle, built atop a 250-foot volcanic crag, has played an important role throughout Scotland's rich history and is open to visitors. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to like, comment and subscribe.